As we continue to look at multiplication, we're going to be looking today at factors and products. The first thing to know about factors and products is that factor times a factor equals a product. So whenever we're looking at a multiplication problem, multiplication basic facts, 7 times 6, 7 and 6 are factors of 42. The product is simply the answer to a multiplication problem. The same way the sum is an answer to an addition problem. Difference for subtraction and quotient for division. The product is the answer to a multiplication problem. And the two parts that you are multiplying are called factors. Okay. So how we can look at factors are we have a product. Okay. And then, basically, we look at, well, what times what equals our product. Because any two numbers that multiply together to equal that product are factors of that. So, I guess, since we're going to do more, we start off with the easiest one of all, because 1 goes into every whole number. So 1, 1 times what equals 24. Well, 24, of course. Any number times 1 equals itself. Okay. And then 24. We look next. Does 2 go into 24? Well, to see an even number, every even number ends in a 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. If a number, and it can be a trillions or a quadrillions, if it ends in a 2, 4, 6, 8, 0, then it is an even number, which means 2 is a factor of that number. So we know that 2 goes into 24. Well, how many times? 2 times what? 2 times blank equals 24. A way to do this, if you wish to, is times 2. Just make it into a regular multiplication problem. Equals 24. Well, 2 times what equals 4? 2. And then 2 times what equals 2? One, and we just fill in the blanks in the algorithm. Right, right. One times, 24, and now we know two times, 12. Okay, does three go into 24? Well, we can count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Yes, so three goes in, or we know that three times eight equals 24. Okay. And we're just starting with 1, going to 2, going to 3, and checking to see if they go in. After 3 comes 4, does 4 go into 24? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Yes, 4 goes into 24. 4 times what equals 24? 4 times 6. And then I ask, well, what's after 4? 5, does 5 go in? No, it doesn't. And then, does 6 go in? We already know. So if we do it in order, if we start at the beginning and just go this way until we get to this digit, then we don't have to do any more. We don't have to ask, does 7 go in? No, because we've already taken care of the factors. And so the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. And we would just list them out so that we can get to know the factors of any product that we have.